Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. This should be episode 28 and today we gonna start the module production. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> After the last episode, I started plunking down a few more solar panels and also continued the expansion of the base. And this is now 1.8 done and I'm leaning to finishing the other 8. So we would have one quarter of the base done and I really like how it turned out. I also had some ideas how to expand further to quickly share that. Um, my idea is to maybe do a three right ring with solar panels here and then build a moat. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous but it's actually a good idea to keep biters away and with the water fill it should be easy to simply say yeah now here's water done. And that should save at least some trouble. And then we have those, um, yeah, the four cardinal entrances of the base. What I want to do here is um, something completely different than what we have at the moment. And that is more of a system idea I'm not completely sure right now, but I have high hopes for the idea itself. It's basically... Um, a system that is not that much used right now in many bases. This is buffers. Um, buffers for ores in that case. The plan would be to have here big buffer chests and a robot module that is cut off from the main system and grabbing from another trains that are waiting in a stacker and then cardinal train lines in all four directions with um, stations attached that's simply mining outposts so we are mining here iron then it goes here and then the full trains waiting in the stacker and then gets unloaded in stations from the stations with robots in the chests and from the chests then in trains that are connected here to our normal train system and that would fix the all patches in here because then we don't need all patches in the base and we are also able to hook up as many resource patches we need. The only problem I see with this general idea is I'm not sure if then the base isn't going that big that can't support the base anymore but that's a damn problem i think for now i'm keeping mining those patches here and when we hit the point that i don't have enough patches in here i then start this project so it's just an idea in the back of my mind for now but what we're gonna do today is start module producing and I'm bringing up the performance thing because this performance is a little bit dipping now. Um, just one update per second and that is not a real problem. Mainly because I'm also rendering a video right now in the background so I know my computer is not fully supporting the game at the moment. When I open the task manager um, around 60% of the CPU is going rendering the video and only 12% of the CPU is actually for the game at the moment so I'm not really worried about that but just to keep it in mind also uh, around well eight times the amount of RAM is used for video encoding so my system should be fine at least for the foreseeable future so back in the game here 
what we're gonna do today is start a module production and I decided to not do all the module parts at once we're gonna split it in two we're gonna go one output that is producing the stage one modules and then a module that is producing the stage two and three modules and the reason for that is fairly simple we need the speed modules tier one for the rocket control units and we need the stage one productivity modules for the um, production science packs so there is a use case to have those modules available and yes I could add this simple production to each of the components but it's simpler to have one setup that is then just putting the stuff out so we are doing that also the nice thing about that is then that we don't need that much inbound so those only need red blue and the tier one packs and those are only need green red and one output so we're going we going to place that stuff I'm quietly leaning to something here we could use this space yeah we could use the space I think that's a workable idea then we do here speed and here productivity yeah why not just use the space so I'm um, currently using a train to get around that's simply because a space is getting so big that walking takes a while and I'm not yet um, having enough concrete and stuff to pave the world but we will do that soon TM so let's start out um, I want to do that with my robots get a little bit of clean up here perfect those that stuff Get me all the stuff here, please. That is looking good. Also this stuff here. Get away trees, nobody likes trees. And I think I'm not gonna use the... Fame thrower for trees again. I learned my lesson. So let's start a with a little bit of planning. So I'm just opening a new thing here with modules tier 1. So we are using those. Then we can't use productivity modules. So it's only maybe speed modules. But I'm not sure if we need modules at all. Because that should be fine, hopefully. Because it's eating up a lot of ingredients. So input restraint. And let's say, how about two blue bells of greens? So we would end up with only 18 per second. Also, I'm now seeing we would also need 260. Uh, we maybe should add speed modules in there. <coughs> 72 that is still a lot half of that would be 36 and if we would then cut this in half would be 16 uh, give me the calculator, please. 72. Half of that. Uh, not, not, um. Is there an back? Yes. I can use the. N no. No, 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 no. 18. Okay, I knew there was an arrow 
because it was not that could work out in a way so let's try 18 18 times 4 sounds doable so we're gonna do up this one then let's say we have one input then we're gonna have this one and one output input input because I'm yeah that should be okay so let's copy over this part four lanes Harp, yes three four four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen seventeen eighteen but yeah if I could count my world would be easier I guess so now grab the whole thing and try to middle it that is actually looking good or do I try to fit in a third row because I'm not able to I could put it in the middle and then one line This would fit, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go all out of that. Four lines it is. But I need to find the middle. Something around this. Yes, this is the middle. So I'm now going over, putting that here, and done. Perfectly fine. I'm also expanding this line out. Also, this line out. And those are the input lines, so we're gonna make those a bit longer in this side. And I would only need to bring this one to around here. lead up to this side then let's say this is for that so I'm copy over this whole part like that Perfectly. Now, um, I should bring in some form of electricity. So let's see. So I'm putting that here. It's not completely good, but 
will at least do that part. to this side. Yeah, like that. So I then would need to free up the space here a little bit more. This in like there. You would go here. Of course, with undergrounds covering that up. There, there. Then this part is going. here okay perfect this is at least more or less doable perfect now I also need inserters and lamps so let's do that we have an output here input here and here then let's say a lamp here just need to yeah this is looking good now should be able to copy over this part here, putting it down here, extending this one tile, this is looking good, need to expand this part, copy over this line, and that's belt. Perfect. That should be not completely all. Also would love to grab, of course, this part. Now it's complete. Now the next part is the input and then I shall take a look if it's able to double its capacity so I would need unloading four lanes blue belt like this oh yeah and they are unloading up there yes you go here you go there perfectly fine, giving me most of the stuff I need. Now let's see. Um, we need to remove those. would be able to do this and this uh, 
and like here. Okay. So I am able to bring all four lanes out. But I haven't balanced them yet. So we need to do that right after the inbound. So let's see. I also need this part here. Copy the whole thing. Then it would be great to grab the balancer, you. Four by four. Just like that. Do I have enough space? Um, there's only one way to find out. if this one is going up I would also need this one to go up like that not a problem and then on the other side this one go down just like that looks also quite good That would be great to also bring those down like this. And maybe I should stretch this part a little bit over to here. Three, four. Just like this. Pretty is something else, but as long as it works, why not? Uh, you here. You only need to go here. Over, under. Okay, pretty is something else, but as long as it works, why not? Then I would need the same thing I used so many times now. This thing. It's not pretty, but it works. And still, it's one too short. Why? I mean... It shouldn't be? It is used here. Oh, because it is actually used one shot here. But this is... I should be able to just fix that somehow if I would be able to align that but I'm not able because it's not symmetrical so just go this way do that and also not back cut I would love to cut that out Put it here. And then I just need to connect all the fun stuff like here. So you would go there.
Yeah, just continue that trend. This should be just a little bit prettier. Okay. Next question before I duplicate this thing and let's get too complex for me. Does this work? <laughs> That's actually a fairly interesting question of all. Let's bring in two stations. One, two. And have they a number or how they are called? Oh, speed module one. <sighs> Small and big. Speed module one one. Okay. <sighs> Let's start with this thing. You are called speed module small <laughs> one one. I mean, it's not the worst possible name, but still. And then you are item equals at advanced circuit so you are requesting red circuits And you are requesting twenty thousand. And I think we don't have enough green circuits in the system to do that. Yes, of course we haven't. So we maybe need more green circuits. Yeah. That brings me to a question. Accumulators are not eating green circuits. Solar panels do. How many will they consume? They are consuming... 3600 per minute. And I am able to provide... Yeah, not even a third of that. How many is one station producing? So one more should be the solution, I guess. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah. So should I do that? Oh, I also need to fix the station up here or more my robots need to do that also the expansion here is now done so i'm able to place those to fix that part fix this one here and also add just a new whole line up here Should be okay, because we need to go a little bit more up with, like, I mean, everything. Uh, yeah, let's find that out later. <laughs> um, so I don't need anything. I don't know. 
we can still remove the stuff later. So, where was I? Right. We have red chips in, half a belt. Now we're waiting for green chips. And still haven't enough, so... Yeah, just copy over this part. So, I'm grabbing again all of that. And we then need to rotate that once. Just find it like this. Remove those. Grab my little car. Drive over here. And fix the station names. Then we should get a few more green ships. And I also called. Not called. You also have another green science icon thingy. Green circuits. Three. Oh no. I was not intended to do that. You are also called electronic circuit suite. Do I have one left? Yes, I have. You are also called electronic circuits. Three. There you go. So let's finish up that. Everything else is already on the way. Also want to add constant combinator here. Now we having 8,900 per minute and this should cover most of our needs. Hopefully. Hopefully. So for us means that, that we can go back to our little project. That is hopefully getting green circuits soon. Ish. And I'm now realized that when I'm adding the constant combinator for this thing here, I will get in minus again. But, well, add the green circuits. Now they should completely connect to all of that. Yeah, this is looking good. We're getting the speed modules, all of them. Yeah, okay, it works. And now I need to cut the connection. Because I saw a little, not really a floor, but something I want to change. And what I want to change is simply connecting you like that and connecting you like this. And the simple reason is consistency. Because now I can do that. Empty out those lines like that. Because now this is looking exactly the same on each of those. I'm now copying this part here again. Place. Bring down this. And now also copy all of that.
And just place it. One, two, three, four, five. More like four. One, two. This is the middle. Everything else is also okay ish. So. Should be good. No, I need this one up here and the other way around. One, two. Like this. And I can remove those and put I'll simply no that was a bad call. Wanted to remove this one. Getting this there and now everything should be fine. Only thing I really dislike is the fact that those are connected. I don't have any form of copper cable, so I can't fix that, but that's okay. So now, copy this one, and do the same thing. Middle, one, two, paste, remove this one, here, here. And here. Paste this part. This one needs to connect. And at this part, and then this one here needs. Uh, I can't fix that in a better way. So I need to do that like that. It's not pretty, but. Okay, whatever. So now we have four lanes of that. I now need... Four belts in times 60. Would give us... Well, that's okay. So, another constant combinator goes here, clean wire, open this one and edit those high and very sad numbers because we need more production of like everything. Minus 10,800. Minus 10,800. But on the good side, plus 2,160. So in the end, that means we have 1,800 less greens, and I also need a lot more reds. How much is one red station producing? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Somewhere should be. Constant combinator here. It only adds 1,700 reds. So in the end, that means a lot more stations. Um, yeah, we need to add the modules really quick. So each of those is producing more than now. So let's just add 
symbol of hope here confirm that and we are gonna come back to this thing when we have our modules because right now it's more of a horror movie than everything else and I also need the loading station now to end this part and also end this episode later or not later in a moment so we have now this station here I'm gonna place it here remove this unnecessary power pole here just like that so now um let's do that the easy way so I bring you up like this you know connect like that I bring this up like that you are connecting here I then would need something like this adding this line and this line those need to connect and I should change that around so we have this part here you go straight down down in here in here and this one simply goes over there now this one is also needing power shouldn't be any problem now you have power you also need a station And you are, of course. Uh, let's simply grab the arrow out item equals speed module one. Okay. It is actually just that. So this is the speed module. And we would then need the whole thing again down here for productivity modules. And that's simply a copy and recipe changes. So not that of a problem. So I'm going to do that in between episodes. And then next episode, we design a station where we get in those speed modules, one here, and then simply make them to speed modules three. And with that, we then can equip all the stations and have a bit more of production. And we need this production so badly. So, for now, thank you all for watching. Take care. And stay safe, and I see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.